Kilpailussa mukana Ramirent. Kotikatsomon eväät tarjoaa kotipizza. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to some more Disc Golf Media coverage. We're coming at you today with the third stop on the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour here in Olu, Finland. We've got the lead card MPO round two front nine coverage for you. I'm Tony Ferro. And I am Connor Wood. Very excited to see the players with one round in the books coming for their second 18. I think we're going to see some adjustments today. Absolutely. We got some new faces on the card. Some faces we have definitely seen before on this st- on this Prodigy Tour. And that's what we like to see. Familiar faces, familiar games, and watching their story. Here on the card once again, Niklas Antila with the hot round on one, 10 down. Let's look if he can recreate a similar round today. I'm looking forward to it. But right behind him, just a couple strokes back, is Lauri Leitinen, 1027. We've seen this guy in the U.S. as well as out here on the Finnish tour. Look for this guy to show us some hot stuff. Potentially new face joining us as well today, Topias Jokinen, 989 rated out of Raisio, Finland. Should be good to see some new, some new faces, some new game. Definitely interested to see how this man's playing. And last but not least, we have the legend himself, Seppo Paiu, 1022. Seen him on plenty of coverage, making some huge, huge moves. Even handing out a few autographs, it looks like, during round one. That Let's he see was. if he can carry the crowd's momentum into this round today. It's nice to see galleries again, you know? The, the crowd seem to really be enjoying the action, and as do we. Well, let's get into it. More disc golf. Hole one. Start us off with a par three, 87 meters through the woods. Just a soft left to right turn. As we saw in previous rounds, this is going to be a righty sidearm preferred shot. Just find that gap, hit it, land softly on this fast green. Get yourself a birdie to start this round off. Niklas carrying the momentum of round one, throwing the first shot of the card. Ooh, that side arm was a bit early out the hand, and he caught first available right in the middle. I believe that was the hit me tree. I believe that was little bit of foreboding Topias now going a bit wider and a bit more height it seems to have also connected but with a good flare towards the basket oh wow yeah that's some love right there little ricochet off the left trees but still got that forward progress just outside the circle looking for the birdie Lowry lining up a similar gap Looks like he split it right down the middle. Can he get through clean? Ooh! Oh, drops a bomb by the basket, a little skip, and there he is looking for his birdie putt. Fantastic job by Lowry. That's about seven meters out. Ace run central right off the bat. Oh, here's a new line. Got a backhand from Seppo. He is a magician with the Anheuser angles. Rides the turnover and had looked a little bit wide, but just had... Held dead straight, slides his way up into the circle. That's a fantastic look and a really good example of that touchy backhand on hole one. Really good use of that ground play. Niklas up first with the approach. Oh, but connecting on a second tree, I think he'll have a long look to the basket for his third. And for not the most difficult hole, this is really showing some teeth for Niklas. The second easiest in round two. I think a fairly friendly hole one to try and get a birdie on the board. Niklas for his par putt, though, just a little bit short. He will not be able to capitalize on the second easiest hole, but I am not going to be surprised if he brings it back quickly. We get to see the first look at Topias's putt. Oh, that looked good. It looked really nice out of the hand, just a bit high left. Seppo now. Showcasing the elusive birdie backhand, uh, birdie 
backhand birdie. Apologies. That was and well great done by job. Him. And Lowry up for his birdie attempt. As well as the traditional forehand line, also securing his birdie. Great job to our two players who managed to sneak the early two in and get themselves on the board. And everyone will be taking at least one stroke from our leader, making this just that much more tight of a battle. Well, let's move on. Hole two, par three, 105 meters. It's a fairly open gap to hit, but that left side is OB, very tight off of the tee. Miss is going to be to the right. I'm gonna have that backhand Anheuser fading, 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 and then just coming out at the end. Heiser, try to slide into this green. Get yourself close for the birdie. You mentioned the backhand, but you see Lowry here lining up the right-handed forehand. Looks like he's trying to hyzer around those trees. That is the danger play, I would say, here, because you're playing with that OB on the left-hand side the entire way. And as Lowry did, he kicked off of the trees in the middle of the fairway and moved left. He was fortunate enough to stay safe. But as the Seppo showed us here, this is more of the play, the miss to make. You want to slide it to the right and just, just fade right. Make sure you're on that safe side. He didn't quite catch the fade I'm sure he wanted, but a good throw regardless. Another look at Topias's game here now. The forehand hyzer as well, but the inside route flaring a little bit away from the basket, but he'll definitely be up there. Good distance, clean through the fairway. Yeah, I think this is just uh, possibly conceding to a par maybe or just making sure he's... For sure, safe. Not really looking to get too close to the basket with that super spike sidearm. Nicholas looks to be throwing a very overstable disc. It flattens out, though, at the end, skips forwards. I believe he's the closest of the bunch. And that hopefully shall get him a look for birdie, taking a stroke back that he let go on the first hole. And you can see the scores Lowry only one behind at the moment. Every putt matters for who's holding the lead, as he flies just a little bit left, should have an easy par. Seppo now, let's see if he can translate his shot into another birdie. Two for two would be nice on this course. Every hole here is demanding, and you can see even with that distance, still a few saplings in his way. Bit of a trick putt. He went for the, the high floating hyzer. Yeah, I think that was an overstable approach disc. He was just trying to hop in the air and just let it fade left, try to get around those trees and hopefully get a run at it. And a fantastic stroke by our leader, Niklas Antila. Fantastic bounce back. back. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> and the rest of the card should be cleaning up the pars. I think we missed Topias's approach, but it seems to have just been right next to the basket. And not that, too bad on this hole. Not too bad, absolutely not. And as we move forwards, only a two-stroke lead. Niklas has to keep on his game with this hungry pack of players chasing at his heels. No doubt, as we move on to our first par five, Hole number three, 315 meters. Got this hump right off of the tee that's going to try to make your shot fly up in the air. Got to keep the nose angle down. Get that flex shot out there. Try to create as much distance as possible. Be careful of that left side though. It is OB. Get yourself setting up for the approaches into this uphill sloping green. Sand filled though, so you can really attack the disc in there and expect to not really move once it lands on the ground. Especially as we approach that green, that sloped sand offering a fantastic backstop to green light. Go. Nicholas up first. He has the height. We see it turning over. A good little flip up there. And that's going to be center cut fairway. Clear look down the end. That was a very nice placement by Nicholas. Lowry up next. And that's also looking very nice. 
Coming in, maybe a little left side. Is it going to sit down? He may have a few trees in his way, but these players seem to prefer going over the top. We'll see what he can get out. Seppo now. Oh, with some heat and some snap, he flips one up. Oh, yeah, I've had a late flip on it. That thing is riding. Oh, yeah. Over the trees. He is going to be well, well up the fairway. Jokinen now, perhaps a little slip off the tee. I think he was oh. trying to force over some Anheuser. He may be playing with that left side. That could be OB. That looked way early out of the hand. Didn't see an OB marker or anything, but we'll have to check where his disc ended up. There we go. We see him now. Fairly obstructed. Well, it seems like he is safe. Just in the cabbage. But he executes a great scramble out of that. And that will be set up. He should be able to still have a look to get up and down for the birdie. I would absolutely agree. Lowry now on his second. A bomb, Heiser. Oh, yeah. This is what you want. Wait. Oh, oh wow. With the flare and the ground play. Look at that thing. Go. He, he's maybe 30, 40 from the basket. That's a possible look for an eagle right there. We did discuss it in round one, although none of the players opted for that huge line off the tee. We may perhaps see an eagle look here today. We already see one look. We may see an eagle. And Niklaus just stands still, crushing it up the fairway. He is in great position to get up and down for his birdie. The poise on him, incredible. I'm always impressed by his ability to do standstill backhands with such precision. That takes a lot of strength. That's Seppo in position A. He is pushing the envelope, no doubt. And Look out, green. Helmet's on. That thing oh, is bombing. Oh, wow. Just outside the circle. He will be looking for that eagle. Wow, incredible. incredible I knew you second. wouldn't let me down, Seppo. <laughs> and Jokinen trying to match Big Anheuser out of the hand. This is his third, trying to place himself for the birdie now. And he sneaks through those guardian trees. That looks like a five, six meter look. Very well done by him. Considering his throw on the first as well, that's going to be a fantastic birdie look. That is excellent execution from these top card here. Niklas with a little chip hyzer. Just making it look like cakewalk here. This is Lowry textbook for the eagle. execution. Looking to the forehand putter. Perhaps not an eagle bid from him, but a very respectable, very clean birdie. Yeah, that looked like just an easy layup. Take the birdie. Birdies are great. Birdies are great. Seppo with the stepper. Oh, just right side. Great run from Seppo. Great run. Topias now for his birdie. With the scramble birdie. Very well done by him. I think he's getting should... on the board with his first birdie of the day. Minus eight down, two strokes behind Niklas, unless he picks up his birdie, which I believe he will. Yeah, I think we're uh, looking at some formalities here just to clean it up and get our first star frame for the round. As Lowry taps that in, we see Niklas approaching the last birdie for the card. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Legendarinen ylämummo. Se on voittaja valinta. Kotipizzasta. And we did have one eagle on that last hole. Christian Kuoksa, the lone three of the day. Well done, buddy. Congratulations to you, Kuoksa. Well, let's move on. Hole four, par three, 122 meters. Be careful of this tee shot because there is a huge drop off after it. Going to be flying downhill with the shot. Big hyzer over the trees. We're going to see from the backhand righties trying to fade this into this heavily guarded basket. Heavily guarded green. But nonetheless, this is attackable. Absolutely. This hole averaged perfectly a three well scaled difficulty 
as Niklas up first with a big hyzer. I think that's what we're going to be seeing from our right-handed players here. And looked like he got to the mouth. He got right to the mouth there. He's going to be a little outside the circle, but I don't know if you can really be upset with that. Absolutely not. You saw how well guarded that green was. I think any look here is a fantastic job. Ooh, a bit long from Lowry, but he should be able to stretch out there and still give it a little Anheuser bid to the basket. Seppo. Also following the line. Very similar flight from those three players. We'll have to see where he ended up, but looked good out of the hand. Topias. Uh, looks a bit low. Is it going to find its gap, though? Skipping, oh. rolling. Best one out of the group. Well done, Topias. Clean execution on very tight shot. It seems like we're going to have four looks here. Hey, guys. Hey, kids. Take notes. Watch this lead card action. They are showing you how to do it. Oh, <laughs> Seppo with the stepper right off the top band. He threads the needle, gets it to the basket, but just a bit too much height. A good bit. Nicholas up next, circle two. Oh, it's so smooth. 15 meter putt right off the front cage. Great bid. Lowry with an uh, Heiser window also just coming up a tad short. Yeah, I think not like his normal stroke. Yeah, it seemed to have a little bit of a gap through the trees there. But be us now potentially making a statement on this card. Oh, yeah. Fantastic job. The lone birdie on hole four here. He'll be happy with that one. Two in a row now. Topias perhaps heating up, feeling his game. Yeah, two out of four, you're going to be happy with that. As the rest tap in their pars, it looks like our leader maintains his two-stroke advantage. Although, to another player now, two players are two behind him. It is. Battle is heating up. As we move to hole five, par three, 105 meters. This is going to have, again... A little open on the left side, but that's that hazard zone as well. So you really want to get it swooping over to the right. We saw before this is a preferred righty sidearm. Maybe a Anheuser we're going to see from somebody on the card. But this is one you're going to want to get. Topias up first to the tee with the lone birdie. Let's see if he can set the stage for our lead card here. Oh, that's looking very nice. Soft hyzer and in, and it's parked. Makes it look like nothing. He has a very, very s compact forehand form. Very nice to watch. A lot of power generated from very little movement. Great timing. And Nicholas now trying to match that line. Oh, that rolled over a little bit. Is it stable enough? Did it fight it, its way I think back. it's safe. I think the stakes take a left turn as that tree line hits. I believe he just snuck his way back in. That is a great break for Antila, as that was a very errant drive there. But he should be able to at least get up and down for the par. As we see Lowry just coming up a bit short right, but he did squeak through most of the trees and will have an outside-the-circle look. And Seppo, once again, the lone backhand, but just hangs it out a little too wide and catches an early tree. And I believe sat down pretty quickly there, so he'll still have maybe 80, 80 meters to the basket or so. And he is safe, so that is the better of the, the misses there. Absolutely. I believe that tree perhaps saved him a stroke. Oh, but coming up a bit short on the sidearm, that will still be outside the circle. He's going to have a little work to do to save the par. Let's see if he can't get that stepper in order here. Looking. Oh, gosh, it looked so good the whole way. Just faded out right at the end, catching a little left chain. Niklas now. Wow. Overturning oh his gosh. forehand says 
Who cares about these trees? I'm going to pop this in for Brody anyway. Yeah, let's take a look at that again. Yes, please. A little stepper through the trees. Just fire. Did you see the pace and the height on that? That was just going straight through the basket. That was amazing. Lowry, let's see if you can follow it up. Can't lose a car, lose a stroke to the leader. Oh. There we go. Very clean by our lead card here today. Little straddle and pop. Oh, nothing dead but dead center. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Liking that. Well done, Lowry. As Topias, just a formality here now. Three in a row. He's been having a great showing on these last few holes. Very clean game from him. Great showing from the whole lead card in general. And a future world champion, perhaps, here. <laughs> oh, yeah. You gotta always watch out for the kids. Well, let's move to hole six. Par four, 140 meters. We've got this S-shaped fairway. It's moving pretty flat off the beginning, but then it's gonna start heading uphill as we get towards the green. This is a pretty short par four. We did see yesterday there, if you want, you can push the envelope and flex that shot, try to get it all the way up there inside to go for that eagle. And this did come in as the fifth easiest hole of the round at a 3.9 average. He's getting some screen time. Love to see it. I think he's the spotter. Topias now still with the box. Let's see how much he tries to bite off here on this par four. Only 140 meters, but that looks like he's trying to bite off as much as he can. Yeah, that was a bit overcooked on the Anheuser there, but it cut rolls out right into the middle of the fairway. Very good roll. He should have not too much left for the birdie, for that birdie approach there. Nicholas, perhaps. Heiser route. He knows something we do not as he hangs it far out right. Can he bring it back all the way? Okay, he looks like he was just conceding to lay it up, put him in position to go for the birdie. I'll concede to a birdie any day. And with <laughs> a two-stroke lead, I, I guess you can just take a birdie and be happy. Let these guys try to push the envelope and go for the eagle. Lowry with another bomb of a throw overturns it a little bit and sneaks past that opening. We'll have a few trees to contend with. Makes me wonder if the wind's got a factor in here. You can see the leaves are blowing around, tree branches moving. A few discs overturning, perhaps more than intended. Seppo now follows a similar turnover line. Oh, getting a good cut roll as well. That's just at the base of the hill. He could have a long eagle look if he wants it. Absolutely. That bottom of that staircase, which we saw, seems to be the place to be to have an open look up the hill. Although the, the green does slope very quickly downwards, maybe three, four meters behind the basket. So they will need to be touchy on their distance. And Niklas in a similar spot to round one, doing the same big, huge spike hyzer. Oh, but catching the top of the trees and rolling back down the hill. That is going to leave a lot of meat on the bone. Topias with his approach, maybe a few meters short of seeing the basket. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> just floating it. I think we did see a bit of the wind in play there, holding his disc above the basket, just gently dropping a few meters away. Fantastic. Just looked like shot. a remote control, just like, oh, there's the basket. Let's stop and drop delivery as Lowry with the big forehand hyzer from the tree line. Look at the precision of these guys. Park job. Nice up, Lowry. Seppo with the Anheuser forehand. A little like bit he... short, but he seems to be on the top of the hill. I think he crested the main, the main altitude there. We'll see Nicholas now on his third, looking to secure hopefully a stress-free par. Or is he running it? Oh. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon as he gives it a fantastic bid and sits it down under the basket. All right. Seppo did make way up to 
the bullseye line, let's say. Absolutely. For a fantastic his formality, upshot. birdie. Lowry as well. And you can see these players at the top of the hill taking a bit of time on these short putts. I like to see it. Good routine and good patience, especially in the wind. No doubt. And again, the entire card is going to take a stroke on our leader. Making it just that much closer. Nicholas now tapping in his par. Do you think he feels the heat behind him? I would be. I mean, Let's these not, guys are I, ready. I, Number seven, par three, 93 meters. Again, this is a wide open tee shot, but the danger starts coming in as you get closer to the basket. We have OB lining all around the basket, along with some trees. Question for you is, are you going to lay it up or are you gonna push it, get through the trees and try to park it? On this lead card, I think they're gonna go for it. I think everybody's pushing it too. Oh, Topia's with the greatest tree kick ever <laughs> and parks it. And we didn't mention it, but he already has four in a row. That looks like his fifth coming in soon. Yeah, I think that'll be for sure his fifth birdie of the round. Lowry opting for the left-sided forehand hyzer. And this is swinging over the OB. It's got to get in. Okay, there we go. a little bit shorter than it looked. That seemed to have more than enough go on it. Perhaps caught a few limbs on its final descent. We'll see if Seppo now. I think he might take the up-the-middle gap. That's the way I'd go. As there yeah. we do see it. Soft little flexor. Ding. Oh. <laughs> Can't do it much better than that. And this did come in as the easiest hole of the round today, believe it or not, with all this tight OB on the green. The player's making the adjustment from round one. Niklas coming in hyzer. That's got to sit down. And he does catch a tree trunk, and he will be yeah, seven, eight meters out. Everybody looking for the birdie, though. And I think Niklas here, he has perhaps the... One of some of the longer looks. We have Lowry up first, actually. Looks to be just outside the circle line. That is the 10 meter circle line. And just bouncing off the top. We can definitely hear and see a bit of that wind. Nicholas now to maintain his one stroke lead over these park jobs. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. You can see he is not unfamiliar with the lead position. Made that look easy. Just squeaking it in. Right side chains. Beautiful putt. Thank you, Koti Pizza. Lowry now looking for his par. May have got a bit of a skip. Ah, he's... Maybe Oof. a bit of a tester, but he is well done to him to give that a clean comeback. Put it in for par. Let's take another look at that. Looked real good. Just a bit left side. Almost wanted to pop out, but those outer chains held it in. And Topias here for his fifth birdie in a row as he's trying to chase Antila with everything he's got. <gasps> oh, no. Just a skim it looked like perhaps held on to it to it for a little bit too long i think he'll be frustrated but we'll see how he moves forwards here oh man and we spoke too soon maybe getting the commentary jinx on him there with that birdie putt looked like it was just a formality what we've been seeing from topias is putting all day today I would agree. Perhaps we're spoiled by this lead card action, players of this caliber, but every putt matters. That could be. Well, let's move to hole eight. We got a par four, 223 meters. You've got a mandatory 
directly off of the T. But that's not really coming into play as these guys are looking to set themselves up about midway up the fairway, right where that short T pad is. Keeping Another it beautiful guarded green. Absolutely. Guarded green, right side is OB. Slightly slanting green as you approach it, but it is sand filled again. Looking for not too much ground play out of these guys. This comes in as the third most difficult hole. We'll see how our players choose to approach it here. Well, that looks to be a little different than what we saw before. That seems full gas going all the way up, but that's going to be left into the trees. He will be safe, but... He definitely bit some distance off on that one. We'll His have to see what he's got from there. May leave a little bit left Nicholas now. Going for less of a turnover line, a hyzer. I think this is more of your standard play. There's the short pad. He just got past it, setting himself up in the middle of the fairway. Should be a relatively textbook approach. Near a little normal hyzer into that sandy green. And Topias now also favoring that placement hyzer. Looks to go over the trees, nestle up in the open. Looks like he had a fantastic spot. And Lowry going with a sidearm. It's in something we have not seen before. Also opting for the hyzer, but in the left gap. We'll see here where he ends up relative to the group. Ooh, bit short, bit fast, and he did end up in the hazard zone. Shows the danger of the right-handed forehand. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe he's just forehand dominant, but that's, uh, that would not have been my choice of shot as the natural fade of the disc is playing towards the danger zone. Wow, look at Topias here, though, firing a fantastic approach. Going deep of the basket. He'll be just outside the circle looking for the birdie. Lowry from the hazard. Oh, catching some guardian trees and getting an unneeded roll away. These That's sloped greens require a level of precision that you just have to hit the dead center. Risk of roll away is always possible. Nicholas up now. Oh, and that came in perfect. Speaking of dead center. Oh, wow. And that makes the hole look too easy Seppo left with a bit of work oh and he's going grenade from the crazy rough grenade edge of circle look for birdie I believe it's not bad and you could see he, he took the distance off the tee maybe opted to have a less ideal placement but knowing he has the tools to make it there for his birdie look I think you're absolutely right there. As we see Lowry for his par. Jump putt. Just a bit short right. Topias now firing long with an edge of circle look. Oh, just a bit short. Seppo for the birdie. Oh, his second band of the round. Just seems to be a fraction off on that step putt today. That is the third or fourth that has hit at least the basket. Chains, cage, top band. He's all over it. Just cannot get that thing to drop. Definitely a lot of metal from Seppo today. Might leave a few strokes on the course but we'll see him correct as Nicholas, formality birdie. Taking strokes on folks. As we go to hole nine, finishing off the front with our wide open tee shot. Gonna see the players throwing big hyzers over all the trees, trying to get to the mouth of this triple mando. Try to navigate your way through the mando, through the trees. Slide yourself up onto this fast green. 
clean up that front nine with another birdie. And as we saw in round one, the right side of the triple Mando being preferable so that you can have that nice direct look. But with this wind, we'll see if these players are able to keep it tight. That looked a bit wide, a bit flat out of Antila. But it came in nice. And I think he'll have a decent look to the basket from there. It looks like he got right up to the Mando. Maybe pinched off with the trees in front of him, but he should be able to stretch out and have somewhere to navigate into the green. Seppo now slightly more inside than Antila. This looks too inside, though, and he's going way left, but gets a great tree kick. It's going to be short, but he should be short enough to where he can manage a shot through the triple mando. Definitely in Topias now. A bit low out of the hand. Catches some of the early branches. Yeah, I, I think, think that, that might that, be birdie out of the out of the chance for him. I would agree. I think that just says uh, no more birdie now for you. And Lowry. I like the look of that, the height. This looks good if it can get down. Oh. Also maybe bled a little bit left. I mentioned the height perhaps was a bit too much, but he should definitely have something to work with that far up. It seems like the wind's blowing a little right to left, maybe catching these discs when the bottom side shows and just throwing them. And Topia so far, although he didn't make many mistakes, he's had good scramble ability out of the trees. That one a bit tricky, though. Uh, that looks to be also too far left. He will have a little pinch into the triple mando. Lowry trying to place himself at the mouth for a long look on his third, although not a simple one. But I think that's where you want to do it. That's where you want to put it from that position. Smart call, I agree. Take your medicine. The Anheuser forehand perhaps getting aggressive and with a bit of love from the Finnish forests here. Topias bouncing his way up to... Just inside the circle. Inside the circle. Absolutely great kick. Seppo holding half his bag. <laughs> with the sidearm roller... Getting through everything. Wow. <laughs> He'll be mid-circle, too, for the birdie. We've seen him pinpoint these tree gaps before. I think he's going to be all right with that, given his placement off his first. Nicholas now will see how much of a gap he has opened up on this right side. Looks to be sidearm with an understable mid-range. Oh, fantastic placement from him. Maybe a few trees in his way, but... Very good angle to approach that triple mando and push the distance. Oh, yeah. Our leader showing the card how to take this hole down. Fantastic approach by Nicholas. Lowry up at the mouth. Flexing a sidearm in, but going deep. And that's going to push him to circle's edge long to save the par. Just missed the mulch by a few feet and got a bit of ground play. Definitely a factor at this course. You're seeing sand, gravel, mulch. I think the player's knowledge of the greens really comes into play here on these approaches. Yeah, knowing your landing zone is a key on this course. The Seppo does gap the trees just a little bit low, though. A very demanding shape for him to have made that putt. A tough putt from that position, but great job getting through the trees. Set it up for par. Move on to hole to the next hole. Lowry taking his par. With his second shot being a placement one, I do believe that's what he was going for. And very clean form, simple extension, shaking hands with the basket, drops it right in. And there we go. There's the putt we've been seeing all morning. Topia saving the par with that nice straddle putt, just squeaking over the rim. Seppo as well, cleaning up on his approach through the trees, taking his par. And now, Niklas to tap in for his birdie and take another stroke on the entire card again. Man of the hour here. 
This Taking should push his, his lead to four strokes on the card. This would put him at five down, five under rather, with a bogey on the first. Fantastic bounce back and correction from him. Very well done, Niklas, with a clean front nine, despite the early bogey. Didn't let it get to him. That's what we like to see. Solid turkey to finish it off. And that is it, folks, for your front nine. Thank you so much for watching us here at More Disc Golf Media. Niklas Antila, our leader, at 15 down. Right behind him, we have Lowry, minus 10. Topias, minus 11. Apologies on the order. And Seppo, minus 9. Curious to see how this lead, how this uh, top 10 looks. Thank you for watching our front nine here. Scores from other cards. We see Jonas Alto perhaps sneaking up Nestori Tukanen as well, shooting five and four down under respectively. We're looking at double digits now again. Now you can see Niklas has got a little bit, he's pulling a little bit away from the rest of the group, but there's still quite a few holes to go. Thank you for watching and stick around for the back nine coming to you soon.